More than a dozen Nashville hotels are closing temporarily. One of them employs about 1,200 workers. News 4's Nancy Amons has the story. The tulips are in bloom, but who will see them? Five Gaylord hotels, including this one in Nashville, are closing temporarily. The CEO says it's upon recommendations from local health authorities and because the expected bookings are so low in the next few weeks. The evidence is all around the Opryland area. It's a ghost town. When was the last time you saw the parking lot at a Cracker Barrel look like this? At a strip mall across from Opryland? I could be better. Janine Robinson owns the Dashwood Vintage and Flora Shop. They specialize in mid-century modern. Well, I've been able to make sales through social media, so I have the money to pay the rent on April, so I'm happy. Since so many of her clients are in East Nashville, she's been suffering since the tornado. And now the Gaylord Opryland Hotel is temporarily closing. It's really going to hurt our economy. Businesses like hers around the hotel had a lot of walk-in business. Several hundred a week, she said, often conventioneers who booked an extra day to see Nashville. They'd come in early or stay late. Her message, stay home, folks. Help the city get well and back to normal. The Gaylord Opryland is one of a dozen hotels that the Convention and Visitors Corporation says is closing temporarily. Here are some of the others. The Hilton Downtown, the Union Station Hotel, Music City Loft, the Graduate Hotel, and Margaritaville, which just opened five months ago. Nancy Amons, News 4.